You know, it is the middle of winter right now. And yeah, I got this wood behind me. I'm thinking out this process of, geez, how much wood am I going to consume? My wife told me an interesting fact. She said, last year, we paid about $2,000 for fuel oil to for the winter season for our, our forest hot air furnace, which is only a couple years old. So it's running very efficiently. And we're still putting out $2,000. If I bought three or four cords of wood and I put them here, and I burned that three or four cords of wood, which is what most people around here in this part of New England tell me. They say they burn about three or four cords of wood. If that's the case, that's about, at the going rate here, we're paying about 260 a cord, 240 to 260 a cord. So roughly in the ballpark of $800 for three to four cords of wood, as opposed to $2,000 for fuel oil from October to March. Now my hot water heater is still running on fuel oil and that's an issue. How do I want to heat my hot water? Do I want to convert that so I'm not using fossil fuel for that? Don't know. Thinking about it. The other thing I'm thinking about is, okay, I got this half cord sitting here just to get us going, just to get us rolling in this green world. But I know this isn't going to last. I'm probably going to have to get more. I don't live on a lot of acreage where I can go out and just cut down my own trees at will. I do have some American red cedars in the back and a couple of sugar maples, but I can tell you the wife doesn't want me cutting those down. So I'm going to order wood and uh, uh, have the guys come bring it, season, split, and so forth, and all I need to do is have a place to protect it. So I'm thinking ahead to next year. Yeah, I might order another half cord or another cord just for this year and stock it in the garage here. But i got to think about my, my yard. You know, I'm only on a half acre plot in Suburbiaville. I, I don't... Sure, i got room I could put a shed back there. But how big of a shed do I need for three or four cords? Do I need a shed at all? Should I just buy tarps and spend the summer stacking wood and putting tarps over it? What kind of step-down procedure do I want? You know, where you go from the wood that's under tarps in the backyard to, um, you know, the wood that's in the garage drying out a little bit more. How much do I want to let the wood have exposure to ambient temperature? Do I really want a moisture meter to make sure it's below 20% when I'm getting ready to burn it? How anal do I want to get about this whole thing? Those are all the questions I'm going through in my mind. For now, We'll start with this wood that's already seasoned and dry, and we'll burn it and see how long and how often we want to burn it. What do these people do that burn wood stoves uh, when they go away from home for more than a day? Do they still kick on their furnace and burn fossil fuel? Are they truly green because they're still burning fossil fuel? It's not a big deal, but it's an interesting question. These are the kinds of things I'm thinking about as we start off on this journey to use wood as a heat source. It's a philosophical thing as well as it is a real tangible thing. Yeah, I love the smell of the smoke. I love the snap, crackle, pop of the fire. Um, I love the hypnotic trance that I can get into woo, watching the fire in the fireplace. But is that enough? So here I am on a Sunday morning sitting by the wood pile contemplating these things.